the bypass we also see <laughs> The Southern Bypass is a project proposed for road construction in the southwest of Nairobi City, Kenya, passing from Likoni over Mombasa Road across Nairobi National Park westward and goes through Langatangong, Dagoreti, and passes over Ondiri Swamp, the railway line, and towards Kikuyu Town. The Government of Kenya and other partnerships and corporations are proposing to construct the Nairobi Southern Bypass within Nairobi Network Master Plan, covering a total of 28.6 kilometers providing Nairobi with an essential corridor for fast transit traffic, hence facilitating quick diversion movement of the urban traffic and improve Nairobi metropolitan area's road network. It also has a slip road about 12 kilometers and two more service roads, one linking to Mombasa Road and the other to Langata Road and Gong Forest. Based on the road design manual and social economic growth demand in Nairobi and outskirts, the project is proposed to be a Class A national track highway with four lanes, hence traffic reduction, especially on Uhuru Highway, Mombasa Road, and the CBD. EIA being a key tool for environmental conservation is a key component in new project implementation according to Section 58 of the Environmental Management and Coordination Act No. 8. All projects should undergo EIA and the report submitted to NEMA to ensure sustainable development through sustainable use of natural resources. Construction of the road has faced great opposition with the argument of negative environmental and hence the need to conduct an EIA to weigh on both the positive and negative effects of its construction. Construction. The areas affected will be mapped and effects will be estimated and pointed out by parastatals like KWS, KFS, KWF, NEMA and the surrounding communities. The effects to be assessed are the environmental, social and health impacts inclusive of the environmental and social impact mitigation measures. The proposed project has several negative environmental impacts. For instance, the air quality of the area will be directly affected through dust emissions and may worsen during the dry spell. Exhaust fumes will also contribute to low air quality. The Nairobi National Park, which is protected area, is likely to lose a 60-meter track of land. This is likely to affect the natural habitat for wildlife within the park. Other areas likely to be affected include the Ngong Forest, the Great Alliance Forest, and Yondiri Swamp. Concerning the animal species, both macro and micro fauna are likely to be affected by the road construction. The past that will be affected are the movement routes, mating grounds, and migratory corridors. Furthermore, the surface and groundwater quality is also going to be affected. Last but not least is solid waste accumulation. The earth movements and demolition works are likely to generate large volumes of solid waste. Southern Bypass Project has numerous economic impacts of important consideration in environmental impact assessment. The project will cause loss of land and assets as it will affect housing, real estate development, farming, livestock, keeping activities and other commercial and educational facilities. It will also lead to demolition of houses, business premises alongside pollution and other disturbances which disrupt sources of income. The project will affect tourist attraction which is a source of income as it will interfere with a portion of Nairobi National Park. The, there will be traffic congestion especially in the main junction which will slow down economic activities. The project is also projected to have positive economic impact. First, it will boost the economy by opening up transportation channels and decongesting major highways, thus making easy for goods and services to reach consumers. The project will provide employment to the local and local people, thus boosting their income. Finally, the land and assets neighboring the project are likely to appreciate in value, which will improve the general economy of the area. Thank you. The environmental and social impact assessment study has established that the proposed construction of the Nairobi Southern Pass Pass is of paramount importance in terms of facilitating a fast traffic diversion, among others. Above all, the use of the available limited environmental resources to achieve sustainable social economic development in Nairobi and its environs. However, 
some negative impacts pointed out needs mitigation. Therefore, due to the fact that the proponent has proved financially and environmentally critical, we recommend that the project be allowed to go on.